Welcome everybody to Coffee with Coach V, where I just share some of my thoughts on what's in the forefront of my mind this morning and what it is that is an approach I feel could bring major value to you, me, and we, our lives in terms of approaching life, leadership, business, competition, and or what I compete in, sports, for my cardio, and then also in your relationships. So today is Palm Sunday, and just thinking about if there was a notion that has always brought major value to my life, in general, a general life principle, something that is proven and through my experience has brought major value to my life, are a few things for this Palm Sunday. First is this notion of gratitude and being thankful. One, I do believe that there is a difference between being thankful and being grateful. So grateful is being ready to return and show kindness in terms of your actions, uh, your intentions, and now there being an action of returning kindness of anything that was done in kind, in love, or that was done that was for your well-being and good for you. Thankful is just a one-time event where once it is that you say thank you and you show some form of appreciation in thanks that it's over. In that, that is the premise for my first aspect in terms of the thoughts of my mind and on my mind this Faith Sunday on Palm Sunday is when asked, Coach V, what is the one thing that you would thank God for? And my response would be everything. Everything is the one thing that I give God thanks for every single day. I just am a person that doesn't take anything or anyone for granted. And now, like you, being and having overcome so many things, I myself have been through some stuff in my life. Therefore, growing up the way it is that I did, not having anything it is that I wanted, having to just really appreciate all the good around me, never being able to have fancy vacations, fancy meals, or, or have the fancy gifts or any gifts <laughs> on some Christmases or my birthday wasn't just really that special. I, I felt special because people were kind to me and said those things like happy birthday. But really, my gratitude and thankfulness for everything that I've been given and everything experiences because of the fact that I've had nothing. And to really go from where it is that where I was coming here at four years old, staying here and becoming an illegal alien because of overstaying and then getting my resident alien card along with my parents because of, um, you know, social and government programs like amnesty that came out and having to eat free and reduce lunch. I mean, that's where the source of my gratitude and thankfulness to God, because I really believe that there's no way to get to where it is that I was then to meet and experience and have the experiences that I've had now. Someone had to be inter interjecting in what was going on for me, not just to go down a path, whether it be prayers, God's blessings, grace, unmerited and undeserved favor. I mean, that's why I would just thank God. And I do thank God every single day for all that's in my life. It doesn't mean that I don't have a bad attitude <laughs> or that I'm approaching things the wrong way. Uh, my wife and my kids remind me of that every single day, uh, that, that that's not cool or that's kind of sad or that's kind of mean. Uh, because m my human nature is flawed and I'm not a perfect individual by any means. But that, that is one of the things in the f forefront of my mind. And, and I just wanted to put some context to it in terms of why am I so grateful or why am I thankful for everything? Uh, just because of the fact that when, I mean, when you have nothing, especially in my experience, and you have gone through the hardships and the failures, dropping out of college, going to Rocky Mountain College, Mount San Antonio College, San Bernardino Valley College, and then ending up at UC Davis. I mean, going through all of that, 
I understand how some person might see something as so simple. I understand the complexities that surround all those things. So I am. I'm just thankful. Grateful to God every single day for life, health, provision, protection, wisdom, family and friends and relationships. And because of the fact that I have been given a certain talent and a certain anointing according to my beliefs that I can use to pave the way, path the way, not only for my success and achievement uh, for myself, for bringing in our earnings and a certain notoriety and a, a value point to the marketplace, and that is beneficial to my family and I, but also because that same anointing and that purpose and those talents um, are part of my life fulfillment and that I can engage in that every single day and I don't have to go to an office every single day and and report to someone every single day. Yes, we all have a boss. We all have someone that we report to, work for, serve, clients, etc. But particularly for me, I get a chance to really influence my daily design of my calendar, of what it is that I do every day. So I just really appreciate you just staying with me throughout this portion of the video and just having coffee with your boy Coach V and just talking here on Coach V TV on just some of the thoughts it is that I, I'm having. And one is that, you know, I thank God for everything, every single day, that being the first thing. And then two is just the approach uh, to what is going on today with this COVID-19 coronavirus is a mentality of positivity is in the forefront of my mind. And, and, and I just thank God that I'm with uh, a spouse and have a spouse uh, that is very positive focused, oriented around solutions. My wife is amazing like that. So together with all it is that's going on and not discounting any one of your situations that's watching is that we just approach things in a positive manner. And then again, I pop off being the Pomona ghetto background it is that I have and being a man where everything, the secondary emotion I feel for most men, and I know I'm generalizing here, but this is also what I've experienced is that the secondary emotion for us in, in, in terms of complex, uh, hyper competitive individuals and personalities like me often dubbed the type A personality is our secondary reaction to everything is anger. Frustration, anger. Confused, anger. Hangry or hungry, anger, right? Not com communicating well, anger. So in that, the second part that is in the forefront of my mind today, as I just alluded to, is just this positivity. Like why? Because nothing positive comes from being negative. And fear, I often speak and train about and talk to with my one-on-one -on -one clients. You know, there's a few acronyms that I have just taken from the greats that have come before me in terms of my field of personal and professional development. And fear is an acronym of false evidence appearing real. So then, you know, you can't be positive because you paint a picture through the parameters and the window and the filter of fear creates false evidence of things that are even worse than the, what the reality of outcomes can be. So positivity versus the acronym of fear, if that's one, fear is the false evidence appearing real. The second one would be fear is to face everything and rise versus face everything and run. So those are some acronyms that I love and is the reason why I subscribe to positivity. And I know in love or romantic relationships, after a while, the first thing we do is just get negative. And again, because of my spouse and how she is in terms of positivity and talking with a tone, because oftentimes the miscommunication between men and women, and this is going off subject, but it's very pertinent and just important value, right? How you say something is more important than what you say. 
Um, so I have learned that from my wife and really just tapered back both in my communication style with my clients and people, but then especially with the people it is that I love most that we often take for granted in terms of positivity that like we're positive to everyone else. But then when it comes down to the people it is that are closest to us in our lives, we no longer function like that <laughs> or navigate the communication that way. So I, I got to get some coffee. This coffee is real good. So in saying that, positivity, staying in a mental mindset of strength. So positivity to me is one of the cornerstones for my mentality of the response and how I respond versus after my innate uh, reaction that is genetically and is within every human. There's an innate response of, oh, shit, what what the hell was that? Or WTF, <laughs> you know, everybody knows what that stands for in terms of what the, f what? So after the initial innate reaction, human reaction, because when you hear a loud sound, you can't be positive. That is innate fear that many in my field and psychologists say is that we are born with is two fears, is uh, the fear of loud noises and the fear of falling. So when you hear a loud noise, your initial reaction, your innate reaction is not positivity. It's, you know, you're, you just respond, you, re, you react that way. But then response now is according to being positive. And then positivity now connects you and is a bridge to what it is that are the dreams, goals, and aspirations that you have. And fear and responding negatively is now according and it, it blows up the bridge from where it is that where it is that you're going to now connect you to going to those places. And then lastly is do what you enjoy. And in this Palm Sunday, I, I love coffee and I'm going to be either having coffee or tea or eating and having some of these sessions beyond the radio show from Hollywood or at certain locations it is that we go and talk to guests on my radio show, The Coach V Show, beyond the videos posting on uh, me speaking to live audiences, it, are, are, are these formatted videos that hopefully would bring value to you in terms of everything it is that we're talking about, you know, thankful to God for everything, positivity, and then also do what you enjoy, which for me is just having some coffee. And uh, during this coronavirus time, um, this coffee is often a, a um, Modelo Especial, is also a Heineken, <laughs> because it just makes me feel like I'm on vacation. And even though we don't need anything really within us, because happiness and having a great attitude is a choice, it's just really fun. Part of the physical gifts is wine. Um, one of the first miracles ever in public is Jesus, you know, walking by and they asked Jesus, his mom asked him to make some more wine for the wedding. And he's like, mom, what, what are you asking me to do? I don't do this. He's never done a public miracle before. And this is what Jesus said. I don't do this often, but uh, mm, keep the party going. So those are some of the gifts, alcohol, great food. I love foodie. Uh, so that's just some value to bring it to you on this uh, session of Coach V TV launching it today. So you are watching the very first video of a series of these daily videos of having tea, having coffee or chilling with your boy Coach V. Just talking about uh, some life lessons that yield championship results in your life. Today, the three things that were in the forefront of my mind this Palm Sunday and with the coronavirus and all that going on is one that I am grateful and that you uh, also consider for your life to be grateful to God or who you believe is the, the reason why everything and anything is part of your life. And then two, um, it's just positivity. Choosing positivity after the initial and innate reaction of what the hell is going on or a loud sound and reacting innately according to our human psychology and physiology is now responding with positivity and then Three, grab a beer, have some coffee, and enjoy the physicals of life. I'm your boy, Coach V. If you like this video, 
do what I need you to do to help me grow and help me bring more messages like this to the masses of the world is smash and hit that like button, subscribe, and you will get these videos every time that I produce and put one on there, which is every single day. One love, mad respects, live it. Your boy Coach V here. Peace. Billy, I'm at the folk out top. I'll have a two-year-old. They call me Coach V.